Hello viewers, welcome back. This is Dr. Sumit Bakshi. In this video, I will talk about linear regression. Correlation and regression are statistical analysis used to find relation or connection between two variables. Correlation measures the direction and strength of the relationship between variables. For correlation, you can check out my other video link I will give in the description box. As correlation does not imply causation, which I have discussed in detail in my separate video, there comes a role of regression. For a numerical value, how one variable affects the other, we need regression. Regression predicts relationship between two variables numerically. Regression is a statistical analysis used to predict dependent variable, which is unknown variable, from any given value of independent variable, which is known variable, through the line of regression or line of best fit. In correlation, these scatter points tell us how two variables are related. It tells direction and strength of the relationship. But in regression, we actually use this line of graph to make predictions about the unknown variables. This red line is the line of graph is called line of regression or line of best fit. Regression line predicts change in y when x changes by one unit. It predicts a value of y for a given value of x. Here I need to discuss one more important concept that is R square. In this scatter plot, all these blue points are actual value. And when we draw a regression line through these points, the points fall on the regression line are considered as estimated value. How far or close these data points from the regression line is measured through R square, where R is coefficient of correlation. And R square is equal to R multiplied by R. It tells the difference between estimated value and actual value. Value of coefficient of correlation varies from minus 1 to plus 1. That's why value of R square varies from 0 to 1. Closer the value of R square to 1 means close the estimated value to the actual value. Suppose there is a value of R square is 0.95. That means actual value and the estimated value will be very close to each other. But if value of R square is very less or it is very uh, close to 0, that means regression line will not be able to predict unknown variable accurately because there will be a huge distance between the estimated value and actual value. In that case, it will not be the line of best fit. If R square is equal to 1, then all these scatter points will fall on the regression line and we can predict value of y for any given value of x. Here is the regression formula which is y is equal to a plus minus bx where a is y intercept value of y when x is 0 and b is equal to slope. Let me show this through an example. Here I am using very common example which I have used in my video on correlation. On x axis there is number of hours study in a day and y axis performance of students. Now if number of hours study increases performance of students will increase and if number of hours of study decreases performance of students will decrease. So this is uh, the regression line will be in the positive direction in this case because they bear the positive relation. Now y is equal to a plus bx. Here a is equal to y intercept. So this point will be a. When x is equal to 0, value of y when x is equal to 0. And b is slope. This slope is b. Because this slope is moving towards the upward direction, this is pointing towards the upward direction. That's why here it is a plus sign in this y is equal to a plus bx. So we can find out value of y for any given value of x. x is any value of number of hours. In contrast, if on x axis there are number of hours spent on social media and performance of students is on y axis. Now if number of hours spent on social media increases, performance of students will decrease. And if number of hours spent on social media decreases, performance of students will increase. So these two variables bear negative relation. That's why this regression line is pointing towards downward direction. 
again a is y intercept but b is slope here and this b this slope is pointing towards downward that's why here it is a negative sign in this case calculation of linear regression through the formula y is equal to a plus bx where a is mean of y variable minus b times mean of x variable and b is r times standard deviation of y divided by standard deviation of x where r is correlation between variables x and y from this formula we can find out any value of y from given value of x you can use this formula if your data is not huge calculations can be done manually but if your data is huge you can use spss to perform linear regression analysis my next video would be spss tutorial for linear regression that's all with this video i hope you like my video thank you